this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for a link to the full playlist. And today we're just going to quickly look at the uname command. The uname command, if I just type it, it tells me what kernel I'm running, but it gives you a lot of different input depending on what arguments that you pass it. So I'm going to say uname a, and that'll give me all the information that it can display, which is my kernel, the host name, uh, my processor type, and so forth, so on, that I'm running Debian, and that my operating system is GNU Linux, and that I'm running a 64-bit processor. And so, and when my kernel was compiled, I believe is what this is. If we type in uname dash dash help, it will give me a full list of the commands. We already did A, which is all. We can do uname dash S. If I just wanted to get the kernel, I can do N for node name. I can do R for my uh, kernel release, the version, machine, which is the processor type. I for hardware, which in this case is unknown, and dash O for operating system. So if I want to break that down, if I wanted to see what kernel I'm running, uh, what version or re uh, release of that kernel, uh, I can get that information all using um, uname. It's a great little command. You can also look at the man file, which is probably going to give you the same information in this case that help does, because it's a fairly simple program. Um, but it's definitely very useful to determine things like architecture, what type of system is this running, you know, what kernel are they running. Um, so I thank you for watching this. Again, this one was just a quick little short one, but a very useful command I use quite often. And I thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There should be a link in the description, uh, as well as a link to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash melx1000, where you can become a supporter of mine a dollar a month or more. It would be so appreciated. If you can't support me financially, think about commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing. Let me know what you think of these videos in the comments below. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.